taking place near the end of a 100-year war. Avatar tells the tale of a 12-year-old boy and his companions as they take part in an attempt to end the reign of the oppressive Fire Nation. But on the way, Aang must master the four elements. If not, the world will burn up in flames. A while ago, I reviewed the movie that shall not be named. But in that review, I never really went too much in depth to the actual series. I was also very awkward in my previous review, and I... Not like you're awkward. Technically, the movie really is pretty much impossible to review. But we can forget all about that because today I am going to review one of my favorite TV shows of all time, Avatar The Last Airbender. But before I get into my review, I want to talk about how I was first introduced to the actual series. Okay. In my childhood, the strange show appeared on the network Nickelodeon. And at first, I wasn't interested, but after watching an episode with my cousins a long time ago, I started to reconsider. That one episode had so much humor, wit, dialogue, and characters that I was like, hmm, all right, I probably could watch this. But that was pretty much the only thing I saw from the whole Avatar world, besides the you-know-what. When we heard that the TV show was on Netflix, well, when we saw the TV show was on Netflix, me and my sister decided to watch it. In a few episodes, we were hooked. With amazing characters, gorgeous music, great writing, and fantastic world building, the show is so immersive in almost every freaking way. From the beginning, this show tackled uh, mature themes like sexism, genocide, and murder. And from that moment, it attracted an older demographic. And at the same time, it was still safe for children, which is awesome. I'm usually in awe when I see this detailed and intricate world. It's full of characters, cultural diversity, and political issues that plague our world, giving us a sense of believability. Throughout the show, we, the audience, see this world from the point of view of the main characters, which is genius because they're kids. Aang is a 12-year-old boy, and he is the last of his kind. He's the last airbender and he turns out to be the Avatar, a being that can control all four elements. Aang is a happy, free-spirited kid who just wants to have fun in the world. And that's what makes him a great pro protagonist. Then you have characters like Katara, a waterbender, and her idealistic brother, and also the comic relief Sokka. And these characters form the main group, and they journey around the world on this flying bison named Abba, which is Aang's. And later on, the team adds new additions to the group. But because I don't want to spoil anything, I'm not going to go too much in detail. Meanwhile, on their travels, they are followed by the hothead of Prince Zuko, who is personally my favorite uh, character in the entire series, and his uncle Iroh. Iroh is sort of the father figure to Zuko and the Yoda of the entire series. But what I love the most about the characters in the show is that they're not perfect. They have issues, they have quarrels with one another, and they learn from their mistakes and grow throughout the entire series. They feel like actual people. The only time I've seen this kind of character development is from a Pixar movie or a Disney film. Another thing that I love about the series is that it's a complete story. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it resembles a lot to the original Star Wars trilogy in that way, well more so, than anything else. I mean, even Mark Hamill plays in both series. Even though I consider Avatar The Last Airbender to be a masterpiece, it does have its fair share of problems. A few of those issues are like, well, in the first season, which does drag a lot. It does, I mean, it. you have to watch a few episodes to get fully invested. Until you reach episodes 12 and 13, the show morphs into something fantastic, spectacular, However, episodes 11 and 14 are just plain terrible. I mean, terrible. And there are some moments there and there, but they're very minimal to the entire viewing experience. As a filmmaker and someone who loves movies, this series is inspiring. It's emotional, full of charm, and contains great storytelling. So if you haven't watched it yet, give it a chance. It's a fantastic piece of art that anyone, especially who doesn't like anime, should see. I give Avatar four stars and a half. Or five. Well, you know what? Four stars and a half. 
94%. I'm going to give it a 94%. I don't know why I'm staring at this mic. Stare at the mic, but not at the person. <laughs> I kind of want you to look for this. 